quick click clap. What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today I'm going to a toy garage sale. How good does that sound? Our friends over at Aaron's Collectibles are doing another garage sale a little while back. I think it was just for a long weekend or something like that. Uh, I did a video where they opened up their spare room, not spare room. They've got this little upstairs area that's normally not open to the public. Uh, they only open it up for special occasions. And I went there and they had nothing over $5 in that room. I think they're doing something similar like that today. And they're also doing 25% off store wide. 25% off store wide when they've already got such great prices. So I'm gonna go check that out. The cool thing I love about that little room they've got upstairs is last time I went there where they opened up the room it was free comic book day. I did a video for that too. They had completely changed it into just comic books. So it was really cool. I love the idea that, you know, whenever they open it up, it's kind of different. It's like a little surprise. Uh, so yeah, we're going to Aaron's Collectibles. I know I go there a lot, but uh, today being it's that they've got, a, they've got a really cool sale going on, I will get a lot more footage of the shop than I sometimes do. And then on the way home, I might actually stop past Collectible Zone as well. Some of you might remember the video I did at Collectible Zone. They're actually closing down the one location in Baronia anyway. Last time I sort of went past there, I found out they were closing down and they were doing like a closing down sale. So there's a lot of stuff that was on sale. So I might swing past there and just see if there's any you know bargains I can get to. So that's what we're doing today. Quick shout out to my Sominions. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in exclusive members only videos, extended episodes of The Noob and exclusive emojis, hit the join button to find out more about channel membership. But remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on videos. Perks. All right, so I'm here. Uh, I'm very curious to see how busy it's gonna be. Uh... Because Aaron's did plug that it was going to be super busy. It was super hard to find a park, so it might get pretty crowded in that garage room upstairs. All right, so busy was an understatement because there was a line to get into the upstairs room. But luckily, I ran into Ben here, who is a subscriber to the channel, so he kept me company. And there's Jin's Customs at the back of the line there. Uh, but it was very interesting to see that there was a line. It made you really curious uh, what was going on upstairs. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it was finally my turn to go upstairs, uh, say hi to my good mate Deadpool, who was here last time, uh, and then I was shocked to see how crazy and packed uh, the garage sale room was. Uh, it was really, really intense in there. But remember, there was nothing over five dollars, so you just had to go in to see what was in there, like the Spice Girls VHS movie there. Uh, it was really hard to go through the comic boxes because it was so crowded. I couldn't really bend over to really get an, in a dig through. So, uh, you know, I was in there really just to get some footage, you know. Um, obviously, I wanted to see if there was anything for me, but I, I was really focused on the video. So I felt kind of bad because everyone's in there. The real hunters were in there digging away while I'm in there, like, you know, trying to get footage respectfully. I was, you know, not trying to get in anyone's way, but I was really trying to uh, you know, get some footage to show you guys what it was like at the garage sale. And just to give you a real idea of what it was like, I'm about to do some ASMR. I'm gonna shut off the music, I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna let you hear what the sound was like inside the garage sale. All right, you get the idea, but seriously, that was the constant sound of people rummaging through loose toys. I mean, last time I was here, that was happening, but there were so many more people this time. It was really something. It was quite a, it was quite the sight. And there's Jin. He just finally got into the room, and straight away, he bumps into some DC stuff. So we had to have a good look. Now, there were so many toys on top of toys, you really had to keep an eye out to, to find what you were after. So I'm sure I missed a lot because again, I was really just filming in there. If you guys see anything or spot anything that you would have picked up for $5 or less, let us know in the comments.
look at me pretending I'm rummaging through the tubs uh, like you know the real toy hunters in there uh, but in all seriousness it was actually quite fun rummaging through there uh, you never know what you're gonna find and for people who have never done it it might seem odd because the first time I went to one of these garage sales I thought it was pretty odd oh this venom is pretty bad ass I thought it was pretty odd to you know seeing people rummaging through because there's some of the most random stuff in there but there were people in there who'd pick up like a random accessory, like a loose accessory, like a random hand or a random gun, and they'd know exactly what toy that accessory belonged to. It was pretty crazy, so it's definitely a thing. Um, this is definitely, I guess, part of toy culture. It's just not something I really know about. Well, you know, I just don't know what I'm looking for. But you gotta be in it to win it, so you gotta have to rummage through to find that gold. You gotta take the time. Like, there's got to be someone out there who has a Darth Vader without a head. Oh, score. Like, some of these DC figures for five bucks or less, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a DC multiverse figure right there. So, um, you definitely find something in here uh, that's worth five dollars or less. Guarantee you that. You got some Nerf guns here and a sneaky shot of Aaron in there. Yeah, I did it. Anyway, the place was really crowded and I did feel like I was wasting body space and there's probably someone in line uh, that deserves to be in here more than me so it was time for me to bail and head back out and I'm sure the guys at the front are going to be disappointed to see that it came out empty handed. Hey, hey, this is a special video yeah. mate, look at this. Check it out, absolutely awesome. Aaron's collectibles mate, everything's just going completely burger right here. You gotta be down here to have a look. <laughs> there you go. Did you hear that? It's going completely burkos! And inside the shop was also going burkos. I've never heard burkos in my life, but I'm gonna start using it. <laughs> but it was great to see the shop so busy. I'd never seen it so packed before ever. If my little buddy Blake is watching, there's those Mad Max figures you want, mate. 25% off, that was the day to get them. If they're still there when I become YouTube famous Blake, I'll go back and buy them for you, all right, mate? Uh, here's some Doctor Who for all you Doctor Who people out there. And the wall of box figures. There's always so much to look at. And of course, I had to stop by my favorite cabinet in the whole store. The Aliens slash Predator slash Movie Cabinet, I guess you could say. I always like to see if there's anything new in that cabinet and see if there's anything that's going to come home with me, you know? Now I've always loved this Edward Scissorhands figure that they've got and I really was considering whether to get that for 25% off because I love that figure. And I always talk about how I want a first gen He-Man and a first gen Skeletor in my collection. Uh, and you know, this is the type of time to get that sort of stuff. When they have 25% off store wide, that's the time to think about getting those more expensive purchases, you know? So when I first started going to Aaron's, the only place I'd go to was the DC cabinet. I'd have a look at the Marvel cabinet. And then, you know, as my collecting grew, I started getting into Star Wars and then Aliens. So it's interesting how our collecting habits change over time. SH Figure Arts make great figures. This is a great looking Black Widow figure. But the thing with Figure Arts is their scale is a little bit weird. It's a little bit small. There's Jin looking through the comics, having a good dig because it was kind of hard to dig upstairs. So we went downstairs to dig some more. Uh, they've got some retro games here. Now check out this game, Bill and Ted on Game Boy. I do not remember that. I never had a Game Boy though, so that's probably why I don't remember. Now I was eyeing off this egg, $999 minus 25%. <sighs> Walk away, Simon. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge KISS fan. Uh, I don't actually have any KISS figures. I've got a Motley Crue action figure set, but no KISS toys yet. Check it out, it's Godzilla. Godzilla apparently gets your videos over a thousand views. And of course, you've got some Star Trek here for all you live long and prosper people, all you Trekkies. 
I've actually been surprised recently that a lot of younger people like Star Trek. It's making a comeback. Now, X-Files was something I was never really into for some reason. I used to prefer a show called Dark Skies, but these X-Files statues look pretty cool. Now, there hasn't been any anime yet, so here's some Dragon Ball Z uh, for all you Dragon Ball and anime people. Uh, another thing that I've never really gotten into, but I might one day. Now, I used to have heaps of these Tiger handheld gaming units. Uh, I don't remember NBA Jam, though. That's super cool. And then I went behind the counter uh, to have a look at their banger books on the wall there. Uh, I've never really had a good shot of these books uh, that they have on the wall. They're wall books. So, it's fucking crazy busy in there today, um, which is good to see, obviously. Uh, I did pick something up, so I'll show you that at the end of the video. But yeah, the sale room, there was not really much in there for me. And obviously, in those kind of situations and spaces, I get, I don't know, I, it's hard for me to really concentrate and have a real good look because it's just so crowded. You can barely bend down to look at the bottom shelves and stuff. While we were waiting in line, I definitely saw some people... Uh, walk out with some pretty cool things. So uh, I'm guessing all the coolest stuff went first. Uh, like I said, I did pick something up, but now I'm gonna go check out Collectible Zone. However, when I drove past this morning on the way to Aaron's, Collectible Zone is supposed to open at nine and they were closed. So I don't know if they've already closed down. So there's a chance there will be no Collectible Zone section of this video, but hopefully they're open. And I just wanna see if they've got anything uh, on clearance that's worth getting. Collectible Zone was indeed open. As you can see, they're having a closing down sale. So very, very sad to see this type of store closing down. Whoa, there's some shady camera work there. Now here's the shelf I am most interested in. Now they had signs up saying 30 to 50% off, but they didn't really say what was 30% to 50% off. So you kind of had to ask. Um, so he did say that the alien and Predator NECA figures were 30% off, but there were other items in the store, like all their anime stuff, which was 50% off. Now, Collectible Zone is a bit of an odd store. As you can see, they have premium format statues, but then they do a lot of knockoffs, like a lot of the stuff in the anime section, most of the stuff in the anime section, you can tell are knockoffs, like sexy bunny statues. They're normally hundreds of dollars, uh, but you get them at a pretty good price here. But look, I always say, there's nothing wrong with selling knockoffs and there's nothing wrong with buying them, I guess, as long as you know that's what you're buying. But then they've got these beautiful statues here. Look at that beautiful Black Widow statue. I'd buy that for $5 or less. Maybe at the next Aaron's Garage sale, yeah? <laughs> All right, so that's all I'm gonna show you of Collectible Zone. If you guys wanna see a more extensive, in-depth look into the Collectible Zone shop there in Baronia, Go check out the video where I went there for the first time and the video focused on Collectible Zone. Um, I'll try to leave a link to that in the end screen at the end of this video. But now, check out what I picked up. Before I show you what I got, uh, just quickly, Aaron's was crazy busy today. I think I already mentioned it in the video, but uh, I just wanna give a big shout out to people who you know come up and tell me that they watch the videos and things. I definitely feel uh, recently much and much more recognized when I go to these things. And the thing that makes me the happiest is when People come up to me and tell me, uh, I went to this shop because I saw it in your video. I didn't know about it before I saw it in your video. Or when people are at an event, I only knew about this event because I saw your video. So those little things, um, they mean a lot. And yeah, shout out to you guys. You can come up for a chat. I picked up some stuff from both places. First, I'll show you the thing from Aaron's. So first thing I got from Aaron's, you know, I always eye off that Alien Kenner's uh, cabinet. And the thing is, I'm not trying to collect the complete set of the Alien Kenner run, uh, Kenner figures. I'm just collecting the ones that I like. So for example, with the Marines, I've really only got Ripley and Hicks. I've obviously picked up Vasquez recently, you guys might have seen in the video, but I'm really just picking up the Xenomorph ones that I really like the look of. And there's one in particular that I never intended to buy, and it's kind of what I bought today, but let me explain. So in the Kenner Aliens range, there is a face hugger. And A, it's giant. It's bigger than pretty much all the Xenomorphs. So it's kind of a weird face hugger. You know, it doesn't make sense proportion wise. Uh, and I never really had that on my radar as a um, one of the figures that I wanted to pick up from the Kenner Aliens line. I think it's gonna be the vlog previous to this. I was at Aaron's 
and I had a chat to Aaron about the aliens figures. There are these double packs that you can get of the uh, aliens and, and marines, right? So it's a double pack, you get a marine and you get an alien in the same pack. And what I learned from Aaron that day was he was telling me those double packs were only released, I believe it was in the UK. They were basically exclusively released in only certain countries. And the thing that they did was they actually repainted all the alien figures. So all the Xenos and things they got repainted to look a little bit more realistic because of a lot of the figures in the line have very sort of fluoro colors and things like that. So they repainted a lot of the alien uh, figures to look more real, which included the face hugger, and that's what I picked up. So that, apparently they've had this in their uh, cabinet for a while, but now that I know the story, I decided to pick up the alien uh, Kenna face hugger. So as you can see with this paint, so the other one is like a, I don't know if it's black and red, it almost looks like a dark brown and reddish color. It just doesn't look like a face hugger, but with this paint job on this, right, how good does that look? So um, yeah, so this was obviously loose, which is how I like to collect them. Uh, and it was part of the double pack. I can't remember who uh, the face it comes with, but yeah, I've been looking at a couple of these on eBay. Most people are selling these things in box, which again, I'm, that's not how I'm collecting them. I think the thing you pull this out and then there's something you do here. I don't know. That goes in and there's supposed to be a, there you go. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked to get that in my collection. I think that looks pretty good. Now all I need is like a real proper face hugger in my collection, right? Like Mark has at the at Big City. All right, so then I went down to um, Collectible Zone. Now, last time I was there, um, I bought a um, Harley Quinn NECA figure. And if you guys, you didn't see the video because it was one of the lowest viewed videos ever, but uh, I did a video trying to figure out if it was real or fake. All signs as far as the way it looked, the packaging, the quality of the figure, the paint and things like that, it looked like a legit figure. And then the arm snapped off. But even though that arm snapped off, I didn't write off the fact that it must have been fake. You know, these things can happen. In fact, someone in the comments was actually like, wait, the arm broke, it's definitely a real NECA figure, you know? <laughs> because uh, my friend Michael, who's been in one of my videos, or some of my videos, he was telling me, yeah, that can happen with NECA figures, they're very stiff. So um, I obviously had a good look at the alien NECA stuff there today. I want to see what kind of discount they had, and he was offering 30%. So I was like, 30%? If there's something I really want, I might pick it up. But before I did that, um, I did pick up something for Sarah. I don't have it with me. I've got it upstairs because it's sitting on the chair to surprise her. She hasn't seen it yet. But I basically picked her up this Hello Kitty that comes with the carts from Jada Toys. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to pick up for her for a while. First time I went to uh, Collectible Zone, they had it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come back and buy that for Sarah one day. And then one day I did go back to buy it, and you know what? They didn't have any on the shelf. So I assume they sold out, but they probably had some in the back. But I'm glad I didn't ask because uh, today I got was able to get 30% off that too. Uh, I got picked up that um, for Sarah. And then for myself, I did see he had heaps of Predator NECA figures. And I thought I was going to walk out with a Predator, but nah, I'm sticking with the aliens. Um, they had this and look, I was just looking all over the box. It's really hard to tell. Look, everything to me looks pretty legit. But again, you can tell me if you're more experienced at NECA what to look out for. But I bought this, Aliens Ultimate Edition. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, this looks pretty badass. You're gonna open them up and have a look. Look at that. So as you can see, I don't know, it looks pretty good. And look, for 30% off, I was like, well, you know what? Even if I got rolled, I still didn't pay a lot for this. But look, the figure itself, looks pretty damn good but who knows you guys let me know if you're big NECA collectors what are the things i should look out for uh to make sure this is legit but i don't know look everything packaging and everything to me looks pretty damn good the only thing i would say that i just sort of picked up on now when i look at the back it's just got information on the figure there's no like other little details like NECA or anything written there, it's all on the bottom. So that could be normal, I don't know, but that's a sick looking figure regardless if it's real or fake. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna, can't wait to get that one out of the box. And that's it, that's all for this one. If you guys watch these videos and you're new to the channel and you enjoy them, I always have the playlist to my vlogs in the description below, as well as my toys and collectibles playlist, uh, which is just all kinds of videos related to toys and collecting. 
Uh, and obviously I do a lot of other things on the channel. So if you are new, do check out the homepage and check out the back catalog. I don't know when the next big event is. I think it's probably gonna be the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair in Reservoir, uh, September 22. So make sure you guys check that out if you're local. And yeah, if you're still watching this video, I appreciate you. Make sure you give the video a like, leave a comment, and until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple.